after more than eight weeks with this screen protector, I am finally ready to give my verdict. For those of us who hate drawing on a glossy screen, screen protectors that mimic the feel of paper have been a godsend. But the Lord gave it and the Lord taketh, while the upside has been a paper-like feel, reduced glare and protection of your screen. The downside has been reduced sharpness, the uh, occasional bubble and more wear on your tip. To be honest, I haven't had noticeable wear on my Apple tip, but with silicon tips, it has been noticeable. Protection for performance, I guess, until now. Pen tips, the company known for the product pen tips, which you may have seen in previous videos, have launched the Pen Mat, a new paper like screen protector. But unlike the competition, this one is removable. Just slap that f***er on when you want to draw and pull it off when you want to watch content. In theory, that sounds perfect, right? But what about real life use? The pen mat screen protector is available for various iPad sizes and they all cost the same. It almost looks like any other screen protector. It features all the usual cutouts for cameras and buttons. But unlike other screen protector, it has two black strips along the sides. Now this is not something you should try to pull off because these are magnets. To apply it, you simply place it on the screen and line up the magnets. The magnets are not strong so they won't assist you by snapping into place like normal magnets. Instead, they are long magnets. No need for accuracy when you can carpet bomb the entire air. To achieve a proper fit, start with a cutout. Line it up using your strong hands, thumb and index finger for guidance. Lock it down with the fingers and place the rest of it on the screen. Then slide two fingers down the magnet. The key is to add a little bit of muscle to the mix. So apply some pressure here or the ends will not stick. If both sides are flat, you have a successful application. Once it is on, it is solid. No sliding around or flapping corners. At the time of making this review, I've used it for about two months. I've mostly kept it on and it still functions perfectly. Now, if things were to change, I'll make sure to mention it in the comments. To get it off, lift it up with your fingernail along the top or bottom. As an innovative accessory, the pen mat is great. As a paper mimicking screen protector, it is all right. It handles glare as well as any other I've used and it protects the screen. It feels all right to draw on, but it is pretty coarse, borderline rough. Comparing it to my favorite, Belmont, it is a big difference. Swiping on it almost gives me the kind of chills some people get from handling styrofoam. Yeah, but since it's removable, I can just take it off when I'm doing heavy swiping. Only use it with hard tips. When I tried using the Pen Tips 2 on it, a silicon uh, tip they also sell, it ate up the pen tip very fast. One problem with a removable screen protector is what to do with it when you remove it. It can be quite the hassle when you're on the go and want to switch to movie mode. In my first real world out and about tests, I found myself struggling to find a good spot to put the protector. Did I want to risk bending it by putting it in my bag? Or did I want to place it somewhere around me and risk forgetting it? Like in the pocket on the seat in front of me. And let's not forget about the not so clean environment of public transportation. Some form of case would be nice, even if it was just made out of thick cardboard. It is delivered in a thin plastic one, which is at least some protection. It is one size fits all so when I got back I cut it down to the size I need and it will keep your screen protector from making contact with a not so clean environment of public transportation but you could probably still cause a crease in your screen protector if you put it in a bag full of stuff and bend it too far. In conclusion the pen mat has all the benefits of a regular matte screen protector. At 
30 euros, it is not the cheapest screen protector, but it is cheaper than an original paper light. Overall, I will call this a good deal. I wouldn't go and tear off my old screen protector just to replace it with a pen mat, but if I didn't have one or needed a new one, I'd probably get a pen mat. And I'm curious, have you tried the pen mat? If so, let me know what you thought of it in the comments. If you haven't tried the pen mat, there's a link in the description with a 5% discount if you want to check it out. Until next time.